Hello, hello, hello. I'm the one and only Orts Cloud, your interstellar guides to the world of blockchain and cryptocurrencies. From my vantage point billions of kilometers away from Earth, I've been keeping a close eye on the exciting developments in the crypto space. And one platform that has really caught my attention is Flare Networks. With its innovative consensus mechanism, smart contract functionality, and interoperability with other blockchains, Flare Networks is truly a star among its peers. So buckle up my friends, because we're about to blast off into the world of Flare Networks together and explore all the amazing possibilities this platform has to offer. In this video, we're going to discuss six topics. The first topic is, what is Flare and how does it work? The second, how does Flare differ from other blockchains? Third, Flare Network's key features. Four, how does it add security and scalability? Five, how does Flare Network enable smart contract functionality and interoperability with other blockchains? And six, we will discuss exactly what interoperability is. Flare Networks is a decentralized blockchain platform that enables the creation of smart contracts and the execution of trustless transactions. What sets Flare Networks apart from other blockchain platforms is its unique consensus mechanism called the Federated Byzantine Agreement, which allows for high throughput, low latency and low fees. The Federated Byzantine Agreement consensus mechanism used by Flare Networks is a different from the traditional proof of work or proof of stake mechanisms used by many other blockchains. In Federated Byzantine Agreement, a group of nodes called quorum slices agree on the validity of transactions and the network reaches consensus by having multiple quorum slices overlap. This allows for fast transaction confirmations and high scalability, as the number of nodes required to validate a transaction is smaller than in other consensus mechanisms. Flare Networks is also designed to be interoperable with other blockchains, allowing assets from other networks such as Bitcoin or Ethereum to be used on the Flare Network through a process called FXRP wrapping. This means that users can take advantage of Flare Network's smart contract functionality without having to switch to a new blockchain. Overall, Flare Networks is a powerful blockchain platform that offers fast and secure transactions, low fees and interoperability with other blockchains. It is quickly gaining popularity among developers and businesses as a platform for building decentralized applications and powering the next generation of decentralized finance. Flare Networks differs from other blockchains in several key ways. First, it has a consensus mechanism. Flare Networks uses a unique consensus mechanism called Federated Byzantine Agreement, which allows for fast and secure transaction confirmations with high scalability. Secondly, smart contract platforms. Flare Networks is specifically designed to be a smart contract platform, enabling the creation of trustless applications with a high degree of flexibility and interoperability. Which leads us on to three, interoperability. Flare Networks is interoperable with other blockchains such as Bitcoin and Ethereum through a process called FXRP wrapping. This allows for the use of assets from other networks on the Flare network and expands the potential use case for the platform. 4. Low fees. Flare Networks offers low transaction fees compared to many other blockchains, making it an attractive option for users who want to make frequent, low value transactions without incurring high fees. And 5. Governance. Flare Networks has a unique governance model that allows token holders to vote on key decisions related to the development and direction of the platform. So overall, Flare Networks is a highly flexible and innovative blockchain platform that offers unique features and benefits that set it apart from other blockchains in the space. Its focus on smart contract functionality, interoperability, low fees and scalability make it an attractive option for developers and businesses looking to build decentralized applications and power the next generation of decentralized finance, or DeFi. Let's talk about key features. The first key feature I want to discuss is oracles. Flare Networks has built in oracle functionality which allows smart contracts to access and utilize real-world data in their applications. 
This enables the creation of sophisticated decentralized applications that can interact with real world events and data such as sports scores, weather data or financial market data. Flare Networks uses a unique system of data feeds that allow data to be securely and trustlessly transmitted to smart contracts on the network. This, I personally believe, is a huge aspect. Secondly, trustless asset management. Flare Networks offers trustless asset management through its Flare Finance ecosystem. This includes a decentralized exchange, often referred to as a DEX, a stablecoin, for example USDX, and other financial products such as lending and borrowing. The Enosis ecosystem built on the Flare network and allows users to access de decentralized financial services without the need for intermediaries or centralized control. The platform is designed to be highly secure and transparent with user funds held as smart contracts or on the network. 3. The State Connector The State Connector is a key feature of the Flare network that enables the interoperability of smart contracts between different networks. It allows smart contracts on the Flare network to interact with smart contracts on other networks such as Ethereum or Bitcoin. This opens up new possibilities for cross-chain interoperability and the integration of different blockchain ecosystems into the Flare network. 4. The FTSO, also known as the Federated Trustless Synthetics Oracle. It is a decentralized oracle system used to determine the price of assets on the Flare network. It provides a trustless and decentralized solution for determining the price of assets, using a consensus mechanism that relies on a group of trusted nodes called validators. The FTSO ensures that the price of assets of the Flare network is accurate and reliable, enabling the creation of a range of decentralized financial products and services. We've had a look at some of the key features. I want to talk about um, how it does it add security and scalability. So uh, just some key points here. Um, number one, the Federated Byzantine Agreement adds uh, the consensus mechanism, the interoperability to interact with other blockchains, trustless asset management, which is the platform designed to be highly secure and transparent with user funds held as smart contracts on the network, uh, the oracles, which is the oracle functionality, uh, utilizes real world data with smart contract applications, and decentralized governance, where it has a unique governance model that allows token holders to vote on key decisions related to the development and direction of the platform. This helps to increase security by ensuring that the platform is governed in a decentralized and transparent way, with decisions made by a wide range of stakeholders rather than a centralized authority, and in my opinion this represents the most democratic way forwards with a blockchain that I've experienced so far. Number 5. How does the Flare network enable smart contract functionality and interoperability with other blockchains? Okay, so Flare Networks enables smart contract functionality with interoperability with other blockchains through its unique design and architecture. Here are some of the key features that enable smart contract functionality and interoperability. Ethereum Virtual Machine, also known as the EVM, compatibility. Flare Networks is compatible with the EVM which allows for the deployment and execution of smart contracts written in Solidity, the programming language used on Ethereum. This compatibility with the EVM means that developers can easily port their existing smart contracts and decentralized applications from Ethereum to Flare Networks, reducing the barrier to entry for building on the platform. Secondly, the state connector. The state connector is a key feature of Flare Networks that enables interoperability with other blockchains. It allows for the bridging of smart contracts and data between different blockchains such as Ethereum or Bitcoin. This enables smart contracts on Flare Networks to interact with smart contracts on other blockchains, expanding the potential use case of the platform and increasing overall interoperability. Number 3. FXRP Wrapping Flare Networks also supports FXRP Wrapping, which allows for the use of XRP, the native cryptocurrency for Ripple blockchain, on Flare Networks. This enables XRP to be used as collateral for smart contracts on Flare Networks, expanding the potential use cases of the platform and increasing overall interoperability. Number 4. Decentralized Oracle Functionality Flare Networks has a built-in Oracle functionality which allows smart contracts to access and utilize real-world data in their applications. This enables the creation of sophisticated, decentralized applications that can interact with real-world events and data like we discussed earlier, such as sports scores, weather data or financial market data. 
The Oracle functionality is also designed to be interoperable with other blockchains, enabling the use of data from other networks in smart contracts on Flare networks. Overall, these features of Flare networks help to enable smart contract functionality with other blockchains, making it a powerful and innovative platform for building decentralized applications and services. The compatibility with the EVM, State Connector, FXRP, Wrapping, and built-in Oracle functionality all contribute towards making Flare Network a highly interoperable blockchain platform. So coming up at number six, interoperability and what it is. And it's quite important for people to understand this because it's, it's a vital part of any blockchain that wants to grow and expand. So interoperability refers to the ability of different software systems or technologies to work together and exchange information seamlessly. In the context of blockchain, Interoperability means the ability of different blockchains or decentralized systems to communicate and share information with each other in a secure and efficient manner. Blockchain interoperability is becoming increasingly important as the number of blockchain networks and decentralized applications continue to grow. Interoperability allows for the exchange of assets, data, and other information between different blockchains, enabling users and developers to take advantage of the unique features and benefits of different platforms. For example, interoperability can allow for the use of assets from one blockchain onto another blockchain or for the execution of smart contracts across multiple blockchains. Interoperability is typically achieved through the use of standards, protocols and technology that enable different systems to communicate with each other. Some common methods of achieving blockchain interoperability include cross-chain bridges, atomic swaps and token wrapping. Overall, blockchain interoperability is essential for the growth and success of the blockchain ecosystem, as it enables the creation of more robust and innovative decentralized applications and services that can leverage the strength of multiple blockchain platforms. Okay, so down to the exciting part. Let's talk about how we can earn FLR and have it as a passive income. The FLR being the native token of Flare Networks. Flare Networks announced a new distribution model for its native token FLR, which has replaced the previous Spark token distribution that occurred in December 2020. The new distribution model has been designed to further decentralize the network and increase participation from the broader cryptocurrency community. Under the new distribution model, FLR token will be distributed to users who stake their tokens on the Flare Networks platform, participate in governance activities, and contribute to the de development and growth of the ecosystem. The distribution will be done for a series of airdrops that will occur over a period of several years, or 36 months to be precise, with each airdrop providing a certain amount of FLR tokens to eligible participants who wrap their tokens. The initial amount of tokens that were airdropped to users were from a snapshot of the XRP community taken a while back and 15% of the entire amount of tokens given out have already been airdropped. That's not to worry, because to encourage new users and from the broader cryptocurrency community, they have decided to put forward a proposal to allow anybody who holds wrapped FLR to be able to accrue Flare tokens relative to how much they hold over a certain period of time in one month. The airdrop lasts for a period of 36 months and we've just had our first month out so that's 35 left. There are multiple ways that you can earn FLR tokens simply by holding them. The first is by delegating them to an FTSO provider who supplies data using votes, the voting power from the holdings you have in wrapped FLR. Then when they create accurate data proposals towards the uh, Oracle, uh, they will get rewarded and they take a certain percentage of that reward and give you the rest of that percentage. Most of them say around 20% of the reward that they take for their services. Some of them fluctuate, some of them are 15%, some of them are 18%. It's good to have a little shop around, especially if you want to have a look at their reward rates because if you choose one that's either over delegated or with a low reward weight, you're going to get a lot less than, than other FTSO providers would give you. That's the first route you can go down. The second route is the obvious one that we've already discussed, which is the airdrop. All you need to do is just hold wrapped FLR, and over a period of a month, there will be free snapshots taken by Flare Networks, and they will have a look at the mean number of holdings you have, 
and give you a percentage of the airdrop based on what you're holding over that period of time. Uh, the, f the third way, which is quite a lucrative way if you know what you're doing, is using decentralized exchanges such as Pangolin or formerly Flare Finance but now called Enosis. Or there's other ones as well popping up. Um, I'm looking forward to the Flareum coming out soon, uh, but there, there is many others. And you, could, you can enter liquidity pools there. And the longer you leave them in liquidity pools, the higher the annual percentage yield you will get. Um, some of them at certain points have been upwards of about 600% APY. Um, I know personally from doing it myself on uh, Pangolin Dex that I've got to something like 400% before. But then personally, my choice was to take it out of there and put all of my holdings into wrapped FLR so I can get the highest return on the airdrops and at the same time accumulate delegation rewards. You have to bear in mind though that when you are delegating and you are trying to claim the airdrops, you cannot take the wrapped FLR out, otherwise, you won't be accruing any rewards. Therefore, you can't use the, um, the the decentralized exchanges with the liquidity pools at the same time as um, getting the airdrop and delegating rewards. Or maybe you can, I'm not too up to date with the decentralized exchanges. Maybe they've changed their code so they've allowed some of this to happen. You would have to look into that yourself, but uh, it's something I haven't taken the time to uh, investigate into. Um, I just know that when I first started out that this wasn't an option, it might be now, but it's worth having a look into. There are also other ways that are coming but have not been released yet, such as the minting of F assets. Um, and there's, there's many other directions you can go down, I'm sure as the ecosystem develops and evolves, uh, it would be something to keep an eye on about the multiple ways. This is decentralized finance and it doesn't stop at one, two or three options. I can absolutely see us having a, a huge list of many possibilities that we could do with our holdings and um, that's what excites me the most is the uh, development and the, the, the clear roadmap, the runway, the, uh, the fact that we are interacting together as a community um, and that you know we are seeing new features coming out and they, they're flawless and they work seamlessly. Okay, so let's get to the last of this video because I'm about to wrap it up now. Um, I just want to say thanks for listening. I hope that this has been a very informative video for anybody out there listening um, and that this helps understand. I know there's a lot of technical words here, but um, it's, I, I hope I've, I've broken it down into something a bit more piecemeal for you so you can you know, get a greater understanding of what's going on. Uh, okay, lastly... There is a giveaway that I am doing on Twitter. If you head over to my handle, which is OrtCloud, or the actual name of it is Scooterbra, S-C-O-O-T-E-R-B-R-A-H, I am giving away 500 FLR tokens to one lucky winner. So to enter, you just need to follow me, retweet the tweet, and tag three friends in the comments, and I will announce the winner in one week today on the 3rd of April. So good luck to that one. Um, and if you have any queries, chuck me a comment down below. And uh, I'll try my hardest to get back to you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again. Bye, have a beautiful time.